took place at 71 Continental Avenue Station. So if you don't know, that's right next to Flushing Meadow Park, that's right next to City Field where the Mets plays, then like a 10 minute walk. So it's very close to a very popular train station. So not every day you see something like this. So if you've ever been on New York City subway train station, you know there's always some kind of weird thing that's going on, some sketchy person, but you never see something like this. And unfortunately enough, I'm not going to say the word, but you know what I'm trying to say. Unfortunately enough, this did happen. Obviously, this person was intoxicated in some way, somehow in some way, but unfortunately enough, event did occur. But before we continue with this video, if you're new around here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This way you can receive my videos once uploaded. So notification squad today is going towards Paul Negrin, Super Luigi Gaz, and also Cameron Hayes. So if you don't know, the very first three people, comment down below. You get that instant shout out in my upcoming video. So if I was you, I'll hit that notification bell. Get that easy shot on my channel. So you're probably asking yourself, what happened? So at every New York City subway train station, you have to pay the fare, which is very simple. If you pay the fare, you're able to cross. But fortunately enough, Christopher De La Cruz, age 28, decided to hop over the fare. As you know, your legs can get caught, and as a result, the fortunate event did happen. So this took place at 71 Continent Avenue Station. So if you don't know, that's right next to Flushing Meadow Park, that's right next to City Field where the Mets plays, then like a 10 minute walk. So it's very close to a very popular train station. I've been there a couple of times, so I briefly know the area. So I'm not gonna show the video in my video, but honestly, if people in the comments section are gonna make fun of this or make some kind of sarcastic joke, you're gonna get blocked. This is not what that's for. This is just for awareness and making sure people do the right thing. And if you ever think about doing this, even after after watching this video and also realizing what he did, in 2018, the penalty for jumping a turnstile is a civil citation similar to a traffic ticket. The accused can either pay a hundred dollar fine or fight the case. In 2017, 33,000 turnstile jumpers in Manhattan. Also, 8,000 people got arrested. So you want to take your chances, just pay that $3 fee or whatever it is and definitely have somebody with you when you ride the subway train station. Just in case if you're under their influence or something else occurs or someone's like very sketchy, you have someone there with you. So if you're new around here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This way you can receive my videos once uploaded. You can always follow me at Twitter, the Brett Burns, and also Instagram, Brett.Burns. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys. Thank you. Bye. You never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right